down here in Chattanooga, and we are at the world's first LEED Platinum Certified Automobile Assembly Plant. You're about to see so much more about this, but also the truths and myths behind EVs. Until then, let's get a check a little closer to home. Early in the morning, it's the dawn of a new day. New hopes, new dreams, new ways. Good morning, America. We're going to stay with Ginger now for Charged Up. It's Ginger's spring break electric road trip. She's traveling the country in an electric car to help us all learn about all the benefits and the challenges of going electric. Since we saw Ginger yesterday, she's driven from Detroit to Chattanooga, Tennessee, home of the Volkswagen plant. Hey, Ginger. Hey there, George. We traveled more than 600 miles yesterday alone. Now that took four charges, average charge time 30 minutes, average price 10 bucks. So we spent less than 40 and in a gas counterpart it would have been more than 70. So the savings has begun and all of that driving brought us here to Tennessee where they have invested big time in the electric vehicle. They're almost a hub. They've added more than 10,000 jobs just from EVs in the last five years. So Volkswagen is part of that and we are right inside here. We're about to show you their ID4 and this vehicle is a family vehicle, a crossover SUV. You can see all the folks that are back there. They're kind of putting the finishing touches on in the light tunnel, making sure that there's no defect, that there are no scratches. And then they think that it is a good idea to allow me to get inside their vehicles and give them a test track ride on the rattle track. I mean, they said they wanted me to. So until then, how about we get some truths and myths behind the EV? For some, EVs are about the entertainment. For others, they seem too futuristic and unrealistic. I just don't think the tech is there yet for EVs. Maybe soon, but not now. As our electric vehicle trip rolls on, the questions from our viewers have been rolling in. What's happened is gas prices are high and they're staying high. Now, the new version is something electric. We brought in the experts to help find some answers. Marilyn Switzer on Facebook says charging stations are non-existent in rural areas. We have found that Tesla still is beating everyone else. Tesla has already announced that the supercharger stations are going to be available to non-Tesla vehicles. The charging infrastructure is certainly not everywhere yet. There are more than 46,000 EV charging stations across the country, compared to more than 150,000 gas stations, and they become harder to find in the middle of the country. But that's changing. Apps like PlugShare, ChargePoint, Blink, and others make finding the closest charging station easier on a road trip. Still, drivers worry about what happens if you need a charge and you aren't near a charging station. It's one of the reasons we tell people an EV is a great second car. There are companies out there that are working on ways to give you a charge out remotely, uh, whether it's a van with a generator on it or big battery packs. The best thing you can do is just be aware of your range. With vehicle ranges averaging 250 miles on a full charge, running out of power shouldn't be a major concern for most people. More than half of households drive less than 50 miles a day, which is just 20% of the average EV range. Another myth we're seeing, all EVs are expensive. One person saying, what good are they if we can't buy them? It ends up being a pretty affordable vehicle in the used market and drive it for many years if you've got a short distance to drive on a daily basis. EVs typically run about $10,000 more than their gas-reliant counterparts. Cars like the Nissan LEAF, though, start at just over $25,000, and that could get you into the market. All right, so you ready to take this rattle test track with me? I am inside this ID4. It is all electric, and we're about to feel the bumps as if you are on a road. They do this to make sure that there is no shaking within the car that isn't supposed to be happening. Uh, it feels a lot like some of the roads we were on in Michigan, my home state, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but now I've hit the pothole part, so anybody that lives in a city knows what that feels like. And they want to make sure that their ID4 is going to roll through. And now the potholes, it's spring, so you better be testing. Woo! I think it did well. I have to say that this ID4, they're marketing it as a family vehicle. It is spacious, like many of these newer crossover SUVs for the EV market. They are starting their price point in the low 40,000s. That's before the tax incentives. Ah, I've made it to the cobblestone. And they're also, this is what makes it really fascinating. They are offering three years of free charging 
unlimited with Electrify America, which is part of, you know, that'll really get the incentive rolling. I have to tell you, all of these vehicles are so smart and so beautiful, George. It's hard to, so far I feel like I'm testing all of them and I'm like, yeah, I want this one. No, I want this one. <laughs> it's exciting to see the changes. It certainly is. Well, I hope the next Lego trip is a little more smooth than what you've yeah. just been on. Ginger, Thank thanks you. very much. Ginger's going to continue That's her trip great. south of Georgia. So you can follow the adventure with her TikTok takeover on Good Morning America's TikTok. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.